Shalom, it's Rabbi Alex, and these are my Torah thoughts for Friday, February 16th. The Torah portion is Truma, one of my favorite, from the book of Ex Exodus. Uh, kindness matters. You see this nice new sign that's on my door, thanks to my wife, Ashira. Uh, and uh, you can also see these slips of paper. You are a kind person. You make me laugh. Examples of kindness abound this month at Shir Shalom. You see them in the picture of a tree in the religious school wing with sticky notes of acts of kindness that our students have performed this past month. You see them in the chesed rocks uh, in our outside garden organized by Alexa Zapia as part of her Rocks of Unity campaign. Go Alexa! And you see them in the smiling portrait of Cantor Susan Whaley, a blessed memory. Susan's kindness reverberates in our community even more than nine years after her passing. She spent each day of her life trying to make our lives easier, brighter, and more full of music and love. Through interfaith gatherings, chaplaincy visits, and joyous service celebrations, Susan embodied chesed. It oozed from every fiber of her body. Here at Shir Shalom, her spirit lives in our very name, a song of peace. Well, not named after Susan directly. Our community's name epitomizes our, spirit, our former spiritual leader's divine her drive to sing shalom, to sing peace. In this week's Torah portion, Truma, the people of Israel are asked to give toward the building of the tabernacle, not out of a sense of obligation, but because they wanted to. As Moses is instructed at the beginning of the portion, speak to the Israelites and let them take for me a portion from every person whose heart motivates them. The donation or charity must come from those yidbenu libo, whose heart literally makes the donation. In doing so, they ensure the tabernacle is constructed out of love, out of chesed. If only all of our communities could be built out of such an, an intention, then kindness would truly abound in the world. Shabbat Shalom.